Hi there everyone. Here we have a Myla. I'll just take this camera back. See if you can pick up Myla. Don't know if you can. Anyway, I've still got the springs in the barrel of it. Myla 5 pin. I've left the key pins in the plug. I don't need to take them out. All I wanted to do was see what was in the bottom. Because I haven't been able to pick this, single pin pick this. Uh, I actually got this by using one of my homemade rakes. It's the only way I could get it open. But I think by pulling them to pieces and seeing them, it's got three spool pins and two standard pins. So I think, for me, it's better if I can pull them to bits and get a picture of uh, what the, uh, the spools and that actually look like and then I get a better understanding of how far I've got to push them down. I think that's going to help me um, with the tension wrench and how far to push pins down. So it could be cheating, but that's the best way I can do it. So hopefully I'll get this back together again and uh, I'll have a go at single pin picking it and see how I go. So again, this one will be continued. Well, okay, here's that Myla 5 pin. Alright, the 5 pin with the 3 spool pins in it. Got it back together again. So, here we go. Homemade pry bar. Gonna use, I got that one's wide, this one's a bit narrower. Going to use the narrow end and the old homemade long reach diamond. Okay, here we go. No, stuffed it already. Start again. I'm using the lightest amount of tension on that wrench. Massive movement there. Now yeah, it's just a matter of getting.
study movement again once I get that there it goes I think it's pin 4 that where you get that uh, massive amount of rotation travel in the wrench but you got to get that bloody pin behind pin 4 and it's really difficult to try and get that I think pin 5 down without interfering with pin 4 so even this is not is not quite the right shape um, yeah that's alright well anyway we got it that's it okay thanks for watching that Uh-oh.